<laughs> Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truths 10. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Everyone who dies eventually leaves the superworld and goes to watch their hologram projected onto the virtual enhanced screen of the universe. But they won't watch it through human eyes, through the lens of good and bad as they saw it on Earth. By the time you're ready to view your life, you've left behind a lot of human concepts and you're looking through divine colored glasses. <laughs> Uh, humans don't usually get to experience the full magnificence of their lives while they're living it. They get caught up in a lot of ideas and lose sight of the miracle that is their life. I wasn't really afraid of death. By the time I died, there's no one in particular I wanted to meet. I also didn't have a lot of beliefs left, spiritual or otherwise. Everything had been lost during my last few years on Earth except my longing for God and the feeling that there was something big waiting for me when my life was over. I skipped the super world completely. It's very pleasant there, really, but nowhere near as blissful as where I went. People usually need to be prepared for that kind of bliss. No one had to prepare me. I was ready for ecstasy. <laughs> Why I chose to walk my particular path on Earth is beyond human understanding. Why would anyone go down that road? Well, for me, the drama of my drug addiction was one of the most interesting parts of my life. <clears throat> It was a very important struggle, and in my case, losing prepared me for a big win. I couldn't know it then, but my ordeal on Earth was getting me ready for what was to come. You see, after hologram review, most people don't go on to becoming the universe. But don't worry, that's fine with them. It's different here than it is on Earth. No one wants to go someplace after. Ha! Then where they're going? Some souls go back to your planet to reincarnate, and others go to places in the afterworld to develop more and prepare for the becoming the universe experience. You wouldn't be able to tolerate that event if you weren't ready. I was an incurable drug addict who wasn't even capable of making a living. Who would have thought that I would be ready for becoming the universe? Well, that just shows you that you can never judge anyone's life, yours included. Sometimes, in hardship, you're forced to stand alone, and standing alone prepares you for becoming the universe. I'm certainly not suggesting anyone take my path, definitely not, but I'm re recommending that you see through your own eyes, not through the lenses of others. Make your life as interesting as you can. Take chances. Go after your dreams. Maybe these pages will give you a sneak preview into the many worlds and endless possibilities that lie before you. Maybe you will begin to play with the idea that you are eternal, that you will go on. You may not go on in the way you imagine, but it may just be greater and more magnificent than you could ever conceive. After the morning's dictation, I drove to the ocean. Beautiful midsummer morning it was, a clear blue sky, just a few puffy clouds. As I walked along the water's edge, a gentle breeze swirled over me, and I challenged Billy for the first time. Give me some sort of sign right now. At that present moment, Minty, my doll from childhood, my favorite gift from my father, came running down the beach toward me, excitedly wagging her tail like an old friend. Uh, okay, it wasn't actually Mitzi, just her exact double, same size, same honey blonde mix of fox terrier, beagle, same soulful eyes, thick white eyelashes. As I bent down to pet her, she licked my face. If her owner hadn't shown up, I wouldn't take her home with me. I had my sign. When I got home, I called the Mercedes dealer for the fourth time. He would swore he'd send the things from Billy's smashed up car right away. I wasn't holding my breath. <laughs> Saga of the Pearl and the Oyster. Hello, I love you. The world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. And in the oyster shell you will find many pearls. Pearls of wisdom you'll cast before all creatures. I will place in front of your chariot 17 horses, a white, beautiful, with golden raiment. When I first said the world is your oyster, it sounded pretty good, right? Like all those gorgeous pearls would be coming your way, and you'd be living on so-called Easy Street. 
but the saga of the oyster and the pearl is more complicated than it first appears. The pearl only happens when sand gets inside and oyster and irritates it. <laughs> the world is my oyster, full of irritation. What kind of blessing is that? It's not my fault, princess. <laughs> uh, uh, now we go back to uh, edition zero, which is actually uh, edition one. And then there's one and a half, and then there's two. All right, there you go. Yeah. I need a music. <laughs>